I hope you all had a lovely day so far. Welcome back to my channel. I am back with another video and this time around I'm gonna talk about da -da 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 -da. Well, Lululemon. So I have finally, after exercising since 2017, I finally for the very first time ordered from Lululemon. The reason why I haven't, it's just ridiculous expensive online. As I was scrolling through the website, their cheapest leggings was for 89 euro. And I was like, I don't think it's worth it. If you look at companies such as Nike, I think their cheapest leggings go around 30 or 40 euros. So I'm like, is it worth it? However, I wasn't tricked. I ended up buying myself a whole set and I'm gonna share with you my opinion. So without further ado, let's start. I think the general thing to say is about the sports brand, the leggings, the color is stunning. The material feels like butter. You can tell on small details that the quality is really good. That's something one can't ignore and I think those are two uh, at, at least the quality aspects does to some degree uh, justify the price and anyway let's start with the sports bra uh, it's just got a really cute design it's really simple but uh, however it's very cute you've got like two really thin stripes obviously also on the website it says light support so if you order something light support don't expect high support or medium i was exactly expecting that i was something that i find disappointing slightly is the side i don't have a really good coverage on the sides of uh my boob uh, so i wish that there was more coverage uh, they don't come with built-in or removable cups however they've integrated like a thicker material inside that goes on the completely front area giving you a good coverage so you're no coverage a good support so your nipples not gonna show although slightly there is there but that's a really good alternative especially them including it from one side to the other one is a really good idea because often when they've got something similar it's going to be uh, focused on a specific area and obviously we don't all have the same upper body uh, length uh, so sometimes it looks funny when the cups are down here but your boobs are up here or the other way around so that's a really good idea including it all over the front area apart from that uh, this sports bra is made more for exercising when uh, you, you're not doing a lot of upper body movement because it slides apart well, the price is I think I bought it for 36 euros but originals 58 euros I would have paid 58 euros uh, I think 38 is okay 35 would be perfect for me. <laughs> really cute. The material is feels lovely. Uh, the design, it's simple but also amazing. I quite like at the front. Look how that is really stunning. Like, it's so small and such. You could see everywhere like where they have so It's just done it really well. I've tried over the years quite a lot of sports bra and I can tell this was well done and I'd like to criticize apart from it's not uh, it doesn't give me enough coverage on the side everything else is magnificent so to the leggings now overall I love the leggings the one critic point that I have is the length it's slightly longer on me um, however um, as I could see from the website they do offer you different uh, length and I believe I choose the distant length for me I don't think I measured uh, one thing but however I didn't like is I don't mind if you have excess material which I do have on these leggings but the issue is if you were to fold it which I often do if you do have excess material you do have to fold into to the point where your leg is tight so otherwise it looks slightly funny so but uh, it's uh, I need to fold it quite a couple of times to reach that area I didn't like that uh, apart from that uh, the leggings it's a uh, fabulous um i like something that i haven't seen in leggings for a while is the thickness or the length of the waistband so basically from here to there where the mature, where the leggings is double lined so from where you could see the um seam here where the leggings double lined this fits or stays in the area that I need it to be which is to give me a good compression around my tummy area and it does and looks fabulous uh, the waistband is slightly longer at the back in comparison to the front however it's not something like one notice too much so it's really good in that in that instance and um, inside you've got a string that you can tie it if you wish to be honest as I was trying it on I did notice until I took it off and you have got a pocket on the side in to put your keys or I don't think a phone will fit but probably a key or a card. Personally I'm not a big fan of having um pocket on the west line I don't tend to use them because if you're exercising it's tend to be uncomfortable most of the time. But however I quite like that they have it there because just because I don't like it doesn't mean someone else uh doesn't as well and uh, that's actually quite good to have it. So to give people 
those who will use it an opportunity however when you um you have it on you will notice the seam that was made for the pocket and i was quite irritated because it took me a while to realize that's actually the entrance or like where the pockets should go like the edge of the pocket and uh, so and uh, this seam that you notice when you're wearing it's only on one side and on the other side it's a little bit funny but apart from that there's nothing else squad proof it's absolutely so it took me a while to like I was trying to figure out is this squad proof or not uh, it's absolutely is I'll give you maybe a eight even nine I believe for the color and the material it's a fabulous looking on the seam around the leggings you could tell they have been done quite well that's something you notice when a uh, leggings oh active when you know they're a little bit cheaper is how the seam are done or there's like everywhere like loose seam which is not the case as well but obviously you're paying 98 euro for a legging so i'm expecting it to be not short on perfection and it isn't at all um anything else nothing else to add the question is would i spend again 98 euro for a leggings um it won't be like my to go store to get new activewear, that's for sure not. I think 98 euros is a lot of money, even though the quality is fabulous. I don't think I will be any, in, in any nearest future uh, changing my whole activewear wardrobe with Lululemon because it's not something I want to afford at the moment. <laughs> I think I've got other important area uh, in my life that I would want to allocate more resources rather than <laughs> leggings for 98 euros. However, if you do have the resources, they are well done to be honest and I'll be honest enough to be like it's crap, it's isn't. Uh, you could tell the material and how it's been sewn in together. Literal details, even though it's both of them, the leggings and the sports bra, quite basic done. Like nothing extraordinary, but the quality makes quite a lot of it. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's my, my opinion, my perspective on the leggings and the sports bra. And in general, um, I would look once in a while on the website to see if there's something cute uh, worth the money. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching the video. Thank you for being here and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.